So I have been looking for the AI space for a while now and the reality is most students fail before they even type their first line of code and that's because they picked the wrong path. And if you are also confused, don't know what to learn first, where to give you more focus and you actually want to understand and build AI models. So you are at the right place. Today we are building the brain from scratch. When I started diving into the machine learning hardware, I realized I couldn't just talk about the CPU or GPU. I had to understand the whole stack. I had to learn how to train a model for real just so I can explain them to you. And the biggest thing I found is that you have to choose a path. Path A Applied AI this is for the build. You are using APIs connecting Gemini or LLMs to your projects building rack pipelines. Basically, you want to build AI apps. It's fast, it's efficient and it's the path of machine learning engineer. For the path B, the core AI, this is for the architects. You are the one building and training the models from the ground up. You want to know exactly how a transformer or a diffusion model actually think. This is the harder path and this is the path of an AI engineer or an AI researcher. For the rest of this video, we are going down the path B. But if you want a separate video on applied AI path, comment down applied AI and I will make a video on that. Alright, so for the month one, we are starting with the part that usually makes people run away and close their tab. And that is the math. But listen, we aren't doing this math just to pass the exam. We are doing this to learn the heart built of an AI model. First, you are going to spend a lot of time on the linear algebra. Imagine, AI thinks using the big grid of numbers called the matrices. So you need to learn matrix multiplication, which is essentially how the computer mixes all its information together to make an actual decision. By the way, to keep it fun and light, I highly recommend watching the 3 blue one brown on YouTube. It turns these numbers into moving shapes and colors that actually make sense. Next, we have the calculus. Now you don't have to be a genius here. You just have to understand the chain rule. This is how the machine learning model finds its own mistakes and fix them. Next, you look at the probability. AI is just the high speed game of guessing the numbers. You will also learn the Bayes theorem, which is how a model changes its mind when it sees new information. You will also look at the probability distributions, which is how a model handles the messy, maybe parts of the real world. By the end of this month, you won't just see numbers. You will actually see how a machine learning model actually breathes. Alright, so let's keep the momentum going. Month 2 is where the real fun begins. Because we are going to stop reading and start breaking the things. We are heading straight over to the Kegel Learn. In my experience, this is hands down the best way to skip the boring fluff and learn how to handle data as fast as the humanly possible. You are going to start by sharpening your Python skills. You need to get so comfortable with the things like lists and dictionaries that they feel like the second nature. Once that's solid, we move into the heavy hitters. Pandas and numpies are your bread and butter. You are going to learn something called the EDA, Exploratory Data Analysis, which is just a fancy way of saying you are taking a messy, chaotic split set and cleaning it until it's perfect. Think of it being like a digital detective. You are going to uncover the hidden secrets in the messy data. Now, once the data is clear, we are going to make it visualize using the matplotlib and the cborn libraries. This is where you turn those boring endless row of numbers into beautiful charts and maps. By the end of this month, you won't be just who knows the code, you will actually be a data analyst. Now, as I have said before, be active on GitHub. It's where you show off your work to your future employers so that you can get a job pretty fast. Now that you can clean the data and visualize what happened in the past, the real question is how do you make the data start predicting the future? So welcome to the golden age. This is the part of the journey where the things get actually serious. We are moving into the Andrew Ng's legendary course to master the three pillars that keeps the entire AI industry standing. First, you are going to tackle the cost function. Think of this as the way we tell the AI it's being wrong. It's how we measure exactly how far off its guesses are from the real truth. Then comes the gradient descent, which is the actual engine of learning. Imagine the AI is standing on a foggy mountain and it's slowly sliding down the hill until it finds the perfect flat spot at the bottom. That flat spot, that's the answer. Finally, you will learn the regularization. This one is crucial because it stops your model from just memorizing the answer like a student who cheats on a practice test. It forces the AI to actually learn the patterns, not just the data. Your big challenge for this month is make a model that predicts the house prices using the California housing data set. 
by the end of this month, you have basically mastered the basics. But let's be real. This kind of AI eventually hits its limit. To build something that actually acts like a human brain, you have to dive much deeper. This is the big turning point. We are moving from the basic data spreadsheet into the world of deep learning. To do this, we are switching over to the PyTorch. This is the professional tool used by the top teams at Tesla and Meta. Your first mission is the famous 60 minutes blitz to master something called tensors. Think of tensor as the information flowing through a digital brain like blood through the veins. They are what allows the machine to actually think. To really see this in action, go watch the neural network video by 3 blue one brown. It's like seeing the ghost in the machine for the first time. Your goal for the next two months is build a model that can look at the messy handwritten digits and know what exactly it is. But here's the catch, you will not use any shortcuts, you will build the basic neural network from a scratch. You will design a network that looks at every single pixel in an image and passes that info through hidden layers. You will use something called the ReLU activation, which acts like a special filter that helps the AI ignore the noise and focus only on the details. When you hit the 97% accuracy, you have officially built your first functional AI model. To teach a model to actually see an object in a crowded photo, we need a special kind of setup that changes the history of AI forever. This is it, the final stretch, where we will be pulling the curtains from things like how the chat GPT actually works. We are moving away from the picture and diving deep into the messy, colorful world of human language. You will start with the word embeddings. It sounds fancy, but it's really just a way of turning words into map of numbers. It's giving the machine a sense of context. Month 9 and 10 are all about the Transformers, and I'm not talking about the Michael Bay's Transformer movie. It's the engine behind every major AI breakthrough we have seen today. And this is how the chat GPT actually predicted your next word. First, you will master the self-attention, which is basically how the model decides which word in a long sentence actually matter most. Next, you will learn the positional encoding, the clear math that teaches a model the order of the words in a sentence so it doesn't get confused. This is the bridge between a simple prompt and an amazing AI response. Now for the final boss, your project isn't about copying someone else's tools. That's too easy. You are going to build your own GPT from scratch using the PyTorch. You will train this digital brain on Wikipedia, writing the actual code that generates text letter by letter, just like you build a house brick by brick. By the time it starts spreading out its first sentence, you will be able to explain exactly why AI hallucinates and how it predicts the very next word. It's an incredible feeling when that first line of text appears. By the end of month 12, you won't be someone who just know about the AI. You will be the creator and your GitHub profile will be a professional portfolio. It's a curated collection of 15 machine learning projects. I've also included a comprehensive guide on setting up your laptop so you can run these models as well as a tutorial on how to upload them to GitHub profile. It's essentially the greatest hits of everything we have just discussed. By the way, keep an eye out. The link to purchase this affordable machine learning ebook at an affordable price will be available in the description really soon. But let's be real, this journey is really hard. You will get frustrated, your code will break, but that difficulty is actually the filter. It separates the people who just know about the AI to the people who know how to build that AI. If this were easy, everyone would do it. Because it's hard, you will be one of the few people on earth who actually understand the soul of this AI industry. By the way, I have linked all the free resources that helped me to get through my college degree in the description down below, so you can start right now. But if this feels too deep and you just want to build the AI apps, comment down Applied AI and I will make a full video on that roadmap. But for the people staying on this path, pick one math video, start the month one, stay awesome and I will see you in the next one.